y'all motherfuckers doing? It's your girl Gia Katia, Gia Katia from the hood, Gia Katia from the Bronx. What's good? What's poppin'? Like, I'm really excited about this shit right now. Let me calm down. Nah, but it's your girl Gia Katia. And today, you know, my, one of my most uh, requested videos is a Q&A with, with your girl, you know, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is here. Um, you know, she's like super excited to, you know, answer these questions, you know, about me. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna answer all of them about me. Cause you know, your girl Nicki Minaj is just, I'm outstanding, so. So yeah, let's get right into the fucking questions. Um, I'm just gonna be picking, um, excuse me, uh, Nikki's gonna be picking. Nikki's gonna be picking a bunch of random questions. And yeah, she's gonna pick a bunch of questions that she thinks that needs to be answered. And please do not pick just Nikki questions. We don't give a shit about all of the Nikki in the world, you know what I mean? I mean, honestly, look, Gia, if they wanna hear me, they can, okay? If, if all the questions are about Nikki Minaj, then I'm gonna answer all the Nicki Minaj, you know what I mean? I mean, but well, what if they ask about Valley Girl or, you know, Patricia, you know? What about all the other ones? Look, honey, I, I like what you're doing. It's super and duper, but it's Nicki we're talking about, okay? <laughs> you know what, Nicki? That's fucked up. Fuck out of here. All right, so let's get into the first question. <laughs> the first question from Jaden S. 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 I saw 15, you know, I don't know what he, okay. What game do you mostly play now? Are we talking about me or Gia? I think they're talking about me. Um, I think the most, like the game I play a lot right now, it has to be Friday the 13th. Um, the simple fact that it's just so much fun with friends. I mean, if you play that shit by yourself, you mad fucking lonely. Cause I bet you when Jason even come up to you, you don't even scream. You just be like, hi Jason. But me, um, Friday the 13th right now, and then Dead by Daylight, when that comes out, I'm definitely, you know, gonna be on that shit. I love zombie apocalypse or just gruesome, grossome, fucking murdering shit. I love games like that. Like, that, that's my, like, that's my go-to. Like, anything that's about blood and gory, I'm gonna fucking want. Okay, next question. Did you get into any fights in school? This is from Life with Jordan. Um, yeah, I got into a couple of fights in school. I used to do story time back then on my old channel. And I used to get into a lot of fights. So, luckily, um, yeah, I, I, I don't get into fights anymore. I mean, unless a bitch want to try me, then I put on my fucking Tims. Y'all already know how I fucking get fuck out of here. Um, nah, but like, I used to get into a couple fights. I got into like, I was just a really troubled child growing up. So yeah, I got into a couple fights. All right, next question is from Art by Mad. Gia, honey, how, even though I thought he called me a hoe, but who inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Um, my first YouTube channel, what inspired me was like, I used to do Call of Duty videos before. And I just used to see a bunch of Call of Duty commentators. And I used to be like, damn, I'm fucking better than my but two point KDR, this and that and the third. Um, but what really inspired me was just like, just I wanted a platform where people can just like come and laugh. You know what I mean? So, um... I just want people to laugh, you know? So, like, I, I, Jim Carrey, Adam Sandler, um, Will Ferrell, like, all these comedians that I look up to, they, they're the reason why I, I make a YouTube channel and become myself, you know, express myself. So, yeah, thanks to Jim Carrey. You know, you know what's funny? That you didn't even say Nicki Minaj inspired you, but, you know, we're gonna let go of that. Next question. <laughs> all right, next question's from A. Dia Monty. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Seriously though, what's been your dream job since you were a little, what, a little girl, little boy? Cause she like, we don't know about her. You know what, Nikki? That's not fucking funny. Um, my dream job was always to be my first. Honestly, when I was growing up, my first dream job was to be a singer. I used to, you know, I used to wanted to sing. Um, but obviously, I kind of like lost that love for music, and then. Like, I got into, like, comedy. Like, comedy was always there, regardless if singing was there. So, like, I wanted to be a comedian. Like, that's my dream job, to be... I, I, I talked about this on Twitter. Like, I want to be, like, a Jim Carrey. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Jim Carrey is definitely, um... Yeah, it's Jim Carrey. It's my dream job is to be like Jim Carrey. All right, next question is... It's from It's Me, Philip... 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 Okay. What is it like having people who support you without judging the actions you take? 
Um, it's amazing. I, I think most of my fan base is from the LGBT community, which is amazing because I know what it feels like to be treated differently. Like everyone should know how it feels to be treated differently. And because the LGBT community, they, they always get treated like second standard to society. It's fucking terrible because we're all human and love always wins regardless. But you know how this fucking world works. It's all fucked up. But, um... I, I love the feeling that, yeah, yeah, don't judge me. Like, you know, I, I have a lot of people tell me that, oh, my face doesn't match the voice I have because I sound not sexy. Like, and this is just my voice. This is my normal voice. Like, I'm not going to, like, do a sexy voice with you all the time. Like, that's just not how I am. But, yeah, that is uh, amazing to have, like, it's a good feeling, you know? All right, the next question's about me. <laughs> it's from WJ1804. And he said, how did you figure out you could do the Nikki? <laughs> um, this is a funny story. When I um was 16, I was in Job Corps, 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 Corp, Corp, whatever. And my, I had this gay best friend. His name was Mikey. And he was obsessed with Nikki. Nikki just came out. I didn't know Nikki too much at the time. But I, I remember hearing the song Itty Bitty Piggy. So it was a party, like another like Job Corps party or whatever. And, um the song was blasting and i remember watching some of her videos so i mimicked her like i'm an impersonator i impersonate multiple people so it's like i can you know i, I just caught on because she's really animated so i was acting like her but my voice wasn't i didn't know how to do the voice at the time so i was like i was on the plane with the wang you could call me whitley i go to hill man listen i'm the baddest in the school the baddest in the game <laughs> no honey it don't go like that it goes like this <clears throat> I was on the plane with the wine. You could call me Whitley. I go to hell, man. Listen, I'm the bed that's in the school, the bed that's in the game. Excuse me, honey, but no bed that's in my life. All right, Nikki, relax. All right, we know, we know, we know he was on the plane. But um, after like after time got on, like I just started watching her videos. Like I, I was obsessed with Nikki at one point where I just wanted to perfect her because every impersonate, every imp impressionist like every video i saw someone impersonating her they would do her movements but yet the voice was never up to par i i'm not i don't sound completely like nikki but i'm i think i'm like the, the most similar to nikki's like voice i've never met an someone who did an impersonation that actually sounded like nikki or just similar to it it, it always was like this every impersonator who does nikki minaj they always go yeah you know what i mean like i'm from new york and it sounded like they got mad saliva in their mouth and it, like they got nostril problems and shit so i think i I kind of do the best than most people do. All right, the next question is from R. Este. I don't know, R. Reese, whatever. Um, his question is, who's your favorite character to voice? Katya Squad. Gang, gang. Um, my favorite voice, honestly, I think it has to be Valley Girl. Um, because people just, like, they just laugh so hard when I go, Hi, I'm Valley Girl. And they like, oh, nah, this bitch giving me a fucking headache. Like, I get so many reactions with Valley Girl, but I think I have the most fun with Valley Girl. I think it's just, I think it's more fun. Um, As in Patricia, Patricia's the second one. Like, it's just so funny because I'm like, howdy, y'all. My name is Patricia Lambert, and today we're going to do some really funny shit. Like, people, they, I just like to exaggerate shit, too. Like, I'm mad dramatic. But yeah, I think Valley Girl has to be my favorite. Um, the next question is from Kevin T. We don't know his name. What YouTuber would you collab with or gamer? Okay. Um, I think a YouTuber that I would collab with would have to be, of course, Dashy. I think that if Dashy even gave me the opportunity, I think the video would be successful for the simple fact that it's not the fact that, oh, because I'm just a loud content creator, but the fact that I think the chemistry for what my fan base is and what his is. I think it'd just be really great. I think the video wouldn't be like not viewed. I think, and not, only, not even if people didn't know who I was, if me and Dashy did collab, people would then know about us. I think like the simple fact that me and Dashy um, worked with like, if we did Mario Kart, you know what I mean? Um, I think that would be a successful video. The simple fact that, you know, he has a thing with Yoshi and Donkey. I be Donkey, he be Yoshi. I think it'd just be a really successful con uh, um, collaboration, but you know, things happen. Not not everyone's gonna wanna work with you. Not everyone's gonna, you know, believe in the vision. And even if he didn't want to, or if he did want to, but really, if he never really did want to, I probably just, I still would wanna work with him. Um, 
but I'm not a big YouTuber, so he really doesn't know about me. So gotta wait till I get a little bit up there. You know, when I get a little bit up, then you know, you know, we can get to that point. Um, but yeah, I think he's an amazing. He's just my favorite YouTuber. I, I really don't want to work with anyone but him. Like, I I've had big YouTubers hit me up and they want to work with me, but I don't want to work with them because I don't think our content would, you know, collaborate. I'm not gonna work with you because you got a lot of subs. Like, if your content shit, your content shit. Hi, right, the next question is from Poison List. You know the drag queen's name, Gia Katia, from RuPaul's Drag Race? Yes, bitch. Um, people always ask me, this is another question. People always ask me, where did I get my name, Gia Katia? Obviously, it's from RuPaul's Drag Race. Gia Gun and Katia. Gia Gun's not my favorite drag queen, but I loved her name, Gia Gun, and originally that was my name, Gia Gun. Um, but then I was like, okay, I'm being mad copyright. So I said, my favorite, my favorite drag queen is Katia. So I put Gia because I like the name Gia is short and I like the name Katia. So I put Gia Katia and I think it mushes well with me. I, I just really like it because Katia reminds me so much of me. Like just funny, having a dark past, but still looking to the brighter days. Like I love who she is, who he is. Oh my God, this is my favorite question because this is what I think about Gia. Um, Sensei Ronnie said, what's your number one rule of being a hoe? Nikki, that's not funny, but my number one rule is always strap up. If you go and dick someone down, you strap up, and you moist the poop poom and you know what I mean? Bubba clap me around, start TikTok on that dick, fuck out of y'all, jump up and do a split. Um, I'm just gonna answer a bunch of generic questions, because a lot of them were duplicate questions. Um, hi, my name's Gia Katia, I'm from Bronx, New York. Um, I'm 23 years old. I'm Brazilian. I'm 5'5". Five five. Um, I suck wild dick. Um, I, I, I love everyone so much. Um, I wish I could answer more questions, but I get so many questions that I just did a little bit of a snippet. Um, yeah, and this is your girl, Nicki Minaj. And if you guys want to ask me more questions... You can ask me more questions, you know, just, you know, just write to your Katia and be like, hey, yo, I'm a bub, and like, when I'm a bubby, you know what I mean, peaches and cream. Nikki, you made no fucking sense. How you wanna say an outro like that and promote yourself? Like, listen, Gia, I know that you, like, really like me on some homo shit, cause like, yo, Gia invites me to her crib every day, and I'm like, honey, like, you know, like, I don't got time for it, you know what I mean? Anyways, I hope you liked it, guys. And until next time, XOXO, Millie Rock on that fucking dead zombie body. Fuck out of here. I'm out.